Hey Cowboys Nation, let's go for another round of news from America's team. Watch until the end so you don't miss any news and sign up to stay tuned for everything that comes out about the Cowboys. Cowboys Micah Parsons has strong warning on Leighton Van Der Esch retirement. On Monday, what we've pretty much known since week 5 of the NFL season, after Cowboys linebacker Leighton Van Der Esch collided with Micah Parsons as he was being blocked by Trent Williams of the 49ers, became official. Van Der Esch is retiring at age 28, the pain of multiple neck injuries proving too much to play through. It ends what started as a brilliant career, when Van Der Esch was a rookie pro bowler who also earned second-team all-pro honors. He had been the Cowboys' first-round pick, number 19 overall, out of Boise State, and recorded 140 tackles with two interceptions and seven passes defensed in his first NFL season back in 2018. But the neck problems stared thereafter, and he was diagnosed with a narrow spinal column. Van der Esch had spinal fusion surgery in 2019 which, the Dallas Morning News reported at the time, the development is expected to allow the Cowboys linebacker a full recovery but could have career longevity implications. Five injury-riddled years later, that has proven to be true. Parsons, the star Cowboys edge rusher, gave the team's fans a warning on X. They'll miss what Van Der Esch brought to the field. I don't think people realize how much y'all are going to miss Leighton. I mean one of the hardest, most devoted, loving, authentic teammate you could ever have. Cowboys Nation should be grateful he represented the star. Ema miss his passion and drive on the field, he wrote. I don't think people realize how much y'all are going to miss Leighton. I mean one of the hardest, most devoted, loving, authentic teammate you could ever have. Cowboys Nation should be grateful he represented the star. Ema miss his passion and drive on the field. Thank you Wolf. Leighton Van Der Esch's future is very bright, indeed, it was a day for tips of the cap to Van Der Esch, whose absence last year was one reason the Cowboys' defense which sorely lacked depth at linebacker struggled at times to stop the run and defend the middle of the field. Van Der Esch was never quite the same after his rookie year, but he was a smart, tough presence when he was on the field. The Cowboys, reading the writing on the wall last week, officially released him before he announced his retirement. Van Der Esch's story was one that fans could get behind he grew up in rural Idaho and played eight-man football through high school, only playing standard football when he got to college. In a statement, owner Jerry Jones wrote, His passion and love for the game was contagious, and from the moment he arrived, he has been a difference maker. His grit, toughness, motivation, determination and football IQ will be sorely missed. Leighton also embodied the strong character and personal qualities that make him much more than an accomplished player. He was a leader and the kind of teammate that impacted those around him in the best ways. Leighton's playing career may have come to an end, but his future is very bright. Cowboy's position on long-rumored trade for $96 million star still firm, report. As long as Trevon Diggs plays for the Cowboys, he is just starting a five-year, $97 million contract extension, and as long as Stefan Diggs continues to be a brooder in Buffalo, there will continue to be a link between the elder Diggs joining his little brother in Dallas. Even if no one is specifically expressing it, it's there. And it's not happening. Any possibility of the Cowboys swooping in for a trade of Stefan Diggs to unite him with his brother in Dallas is just not happening. That's the word from SI. Comms Cowboys insider Mike Fisher, who quoted a source with rather strong language to illustrate just how far removed the possibility of a Diggs and Diggs really is. There's nothing new on the possibility of Stefan Diggs being traded to the Cowboys, but SI asked the question anyway, if only to swat it down. Cowboys not rumored to be interested in a trade. Again, not that anyone was even proposing a major Cowboys trade at this point. In fact, it has been a decidedly quiet opening week of free agency for the Cowboys, who appear intent on bringing back much the same team as last year, only minus some key pieces, like left tackle Tyron Smith and starting running back Tony Pollard. The Cowboys have not made moves to replace either, apparently turning to the bargain bin and or the draft to cover up those holes. The plan seems to be to stick with what the Cowboys have for this year and, essentially, be ready to explode the whole thing if the Cowboys flop in the playoffs again. The only addition to the Cowboys roster has been linebacker Eric Kendricks, a very good signing. 
but there has been frustration that the Cowboys have not attempted to do more. Team VP Stephen Jones preached patience, essentially telling fans the team plans to do some dumpster diving in the coming weeks. That first negotiating day, it's wild and it's big, big, big dollars. But as you see now, things are calming down, Jones said, via The Athletic. That's where we think you can be efficient and do good things. I think we have in the past, whether it's via trade or whether it's via just, a deal, like we did yesterday with Kendricks. I'm sure there will be more players released around the league as people move forward and work within their cap. You never know what you might see that you don't see today. Those are all things that we feel very prepared to make quick decisions on. And I look forward to it. Stefan Diggs starting $96 million extension. As for Diggs, he is just starting a four-year, $96 million contract extension, with $48 million guaranteed. For a Cowboys team that is looking more and more like it will absorb the massive $59.4 million contract hit for Dak Prescott this year rather than renegotiate his deal, the renegotiation may yet come, of course, and is looking at massive extensions for Micah Parsons and CeeDee Lamb, taking on Stefan Diggs' deal is a non-starter. Maybe a Diggs deal now is more BS than ever, but it was always BS so, it's a bit of a moot point. Still, Stefan Diggs continued to brood in Buffalo, despite his generous contract. The cap-trapped Bills had to make six difficult cuts last week to make sure they were cap-compliant, but Diggs was not among them. Nor was he traded. Nor has there been talk that he will be traded. Maybe that means a trade is coming, though at his salary, not likely. And certainly not to Dallas. Cowboys create some cap space with minor Dak Prescott move. The Dallas Cowboys eased some pressure against the salary cap by tweaking quarterback Dak Prescott's contract. According to a report from ESPN's Field Yates, the Cowboys freed up approximately $4 million in cap space for the 2024 season by converting Prescott's $5 million roster bonus into a signing bonus. Dallas also added two extra void years to help against the cap. As Yates points out, the Cowboys can still work toward a contract extension with Prescott this offseason, to create even more spending flexibility. Prescott holds significant leverage in any contract extension talks, both following a strong 2023 regular season as well as the fact that the Cowboys must significantly lower his cap number for the 2024 season as well as the 2025 campaign. Next offseason, the Cowboys are slated to have approximately $87 million in cap space, but Prescott accounts for 13.4% of Dallas cap space and is slated to count $36.4 million against the cap. Prescott holds significant leverage in any contract extension talks, both following a strong 2023 regular season as well as the fact that the Cowboys must significantly lower his cap number for the 2024 season as well as the 2025 campaign. Next offseason, the Cowboys are slated to have approximately $87 million in cap space, but Prescott accounts for 13.4% of Dallas cap space and is slated to count $36.4 million against the cap. Prescott completed a career-high 69.5% of his passes in 2023 for 4,516 passing yards with 36 touchdowns to 9 interceptions en route to a 105.9 passer rating while leading the Cowboys to an NFC East championship. However, Dallas' collapse in the NFC wildcard game raises significant questions about Prescott's ability to lead postseason success and likely complicates any negotiations with the franchise. Whether the Cowboys move forward with an extension to both create cap space and strengthen their commitment to Prescott, given questions about his playoff performances, remains to be seen. What does Cowboys' cap space situation look like after Dak Prescott move? Given the financial straits the Cowboys find themselves in, it's difficult to envision this being the only move that the Cowboys make with Prescott's contract. Especially since after converting Prescott's roster bonus into a signing bonus, the Cowboys still only have approximately $8.06 million in cap space, which is the fourth lowest amount of cap space in the NFL. The Cowboys have largely sat out the early stages of free agency, in part because prior to this minor tweak of Prescott's deal, Dallas had just over $4 million in spending flexibility. Dallas will likely need to make further moves to add cap space, 
both to continue competing for players in the free agency's next phase and the cap space to sign the franchise's 2024 draft class.